Alright, we're back. Uh, all right, the game uh, messed up. Uh, not sure what happened. It's happened a couple of times, but it's fine. You know. It's of the loud Niyama. Didn't even look like he was running. <laughs> you leave. His posture. Barely. You're not attacking. Perhaps speak. All right. Let's ask about Regis this time. What? What's with Regis? Nothing. He sleeps. Will you wake him? Perhaps. Perhaps not. You were to speak, not question. Speak or die. Hear about Dedlaf. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. How? As Kagmar brought trouble before, folk will take him down eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade, but they'll find a way, and then they'll go after other vampires, and eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. He'll kill them, of course, so they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate. I don't want to kill that love because I want to offer him Siana <laughs> in, in exchange for peace so I'm kind of hoping that by picking number two here I can still go and find Siana and give her up I really want to piss off the Duchess as well dead love we have to convince him to spare the city will he probably not yet we must try nonetheless if there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detlaf. Anathema? Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Detlaf. I thank you. Leave me. Oh, that went better than I expected it would. <laughs> For him. Alright, so, anathema. Something or someone that one vehemently dislikes. 
That's definition number one. Definition number two. A formal curse by a pope or a council of the church excommunicating a person or denouncing a doctrine. Okay. That's what I thought. Judging by the context. I learned something new. Cool. Learning a bunch of new words in this game. Not a bunch, maybe a couple. Uh, oh, I'm kind of curious about number three, but I'm also kind of curious about number two. Think that went better than... You kidding? I'd have been dead on the spot if not for my slowed metabolism. And yet you survived. Though you are risking your life. The question is, why? This contract, it goes well beyond what witches customarily handle. I cannot abandon the matter, for Detlaf and I are bound by blood, but you, you could simply walk away. So why, my friend? Why stay and risk your hide? Hold on, let me alt tab for a sec. There we go. Just... Um, I'll just say for you. Regis is a cool character. For you. You're in a heap of trouble, Regis. Trouble Detloff brought on. Seen you die once already. That one time was enough. I... Mm. I'm not certain I know what to say. I am grateful, Geralt. Oh, nice, we get the second option. All your unseen that... Uh, welcoming. No, they vary. Some are conceited, others imperious, but most can be reasoned with. But him, it was clear each word was a great effort. Interacting with others, it seems, it causes him physical pain. Never entered my mind that the conjunction of the spheres was also a cataclysm for you, for... Monsters, no euphemism required, you needn't seek one. I dare say it was worse for us. You arrived by the thousands, we were but a handful. Not much choice. Assimilate with you, or shut ourselves off from the world, like him. Ah, oh, wait. Humans originate from a different world? I thought this originally was the human uh, well, sphere or whatever. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Must have missed that. Cave I was tossed into. That where the gate between worlds is? In a sense, yes. Just slam shut, sealed tight. Think it'll ever open again? Think you'll be able to go home? I sincerely doubt it. And I think in truth, the Elder knows that as well. So why would he stay down there? What's the real reason? Hmm. To stay with the gate analogy, no door is ever completely impermeable. Smells come through, for instance. And when the wind rises, some dust might be blown through the cracks. A palpable trace of things on the other side. It's not much, but it is something. And you? How do you feel now, where you are? Geralt, imagine the least comfortable situation you could ever find yourself in. What would it be? I don't mean a moment of pain with death knocking at your door. Just a circumstance of great unease. All right. In that case, a court banquet. Gotta show up in hose and a tight doublet. Gotta smile at everyone and engage in vacuous conversation. While Dandelion sings a ballad about me and Yennefer for all to hear. Very well. Now imagine you're stuck there. Not for an hour. Not for an evening. But for all time. And should you fall out of character for but a moment? Should you so much as scratch yourself where the stitching chafes all around you will scream, Monster! Monster! And they'll turn on you and tear you to shreds. Sounds... tiring. Damn tiring. I couldn't have put it better myself. Time to summon Deadlaugh. <sighs> yes. High time. Uh, do... do you wish to go to Tesha Mutner right away? Let's go. Wanna get this over with. Oh, they don't even give you an option. I mean, I would go right away, but usually they give you an option.
Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. You angry with me for not freeing Siana? For not trying to resolve this peacefully? Hmm, a bit. Though, perhaps I was fooling myself. Latching on to the notion because I badly wished to believe there was some way to fix everything. However, matters have simply gone too far. I must come to terms with that. I mean, hopefully we can still feed him, Sian. <laughs> Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlaf. Hinthial Jesu Themias. didn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Reno. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlove, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Let us be done with this. Oh, give me the chance to bring you the woman. that message at the bottom. Innocence. Damn thing. Damn it. 
to counter with some things. Not gonna use the decoction because that would just make this brain dead. <laughs> Let's fight a little. Can I parry? I can. That's that's too risky, I think. All right, maybe I have to use that decoction. <laughs> I think I pressed the wrong button even. I might have accidentally pressed it. Yeah, I did. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. You can clear that shit out. Whoa. Okay. I don't want to fight it with the uh, black blood thing. Fight him with the black blood thing. Nice play, isn't it? Shit, yes. We have to watch all of it? Yep. Mm. Though, however. Really? You couldn't just autosave? You didn't. Why? Who was in charge of the saving checkpoints in this game? They really have to. The person who was in charge of the charge of that is not a gamer. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Wait, what was the option? Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see what the option was. That's fine. Prepare for the fight. You shall have brought up a challenge. I am disappointed. You murdered innocents. You damn thing. All right, two fire, two attacks, and he teleports behind. I remember now. How do we deal with... Can't even skip the cutscene? What the hell? This maybe? No. No. I survived it somehow. On the f no, I didn't. I died on the same thing on the previous attempt. Maybe I have to use fire. Maybe I have to use Quen? That can't be the only option. Whoa, attack. You shall have brought up a chap! I am disappointed! You murdered innocence. I tried to parry. That's why I took some damage. I think we should restart this one. I took too much damage. It's fine. I tried to parry when he does the back attack.
also switch to this and save because I keep forgetting to switch to it. Let's go. You shall have brought up a death. I am disappointed. You murdered innocents. I don't owe you a damn thing. Just standing there. Nice roll, man. So. So it's charge we can roll out of. If you acknowledge any gods, start playing now. Let's see how we survive this. Actually hit? Oh. Ah, it's gonna hit. Oh, I just did like that. <laughs> That's a freaking toothpick. <laughs> Thing. Oh no! What? I rolled into that? No! I didn't see that. Ah, that's my bad. Rolled too early. Basically, just two, three moves. To oh, oh, that's a new one. What? I got baited by the first dash again. A little bit unsure what's happening. It's teleporting around. Oh, that's 
That didn't even work. That doesn't do damage. There's the other one. Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Anyways... That was a cool fight. Maybe even the best fight in the game so far. Um, wish there was more stuff like that, but I also understand why there isn't. That fight is more in the vein of, like, horror fantasy stuff. Like, um, Dark Souls, Mortal Shells, that, those kind of games. So, uh, I, I get it. I get why there's not more of it, but it's definitely the best one so far. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular Witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. 
All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit, as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because, unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. How do you know the boot black delivered the letters? Okay. Uh, I was gonna say something. I'm not really happy with this line that we took to the story. Personally, I wouldn't want to kill that love. I would want him to get his revenge. Personally, I think the Duchess like, would be willing to sacrifice the entire city to save her maniacal sister is uh, not something I would side with. However, the way the story presented the extra content, meeting the unseen el the unseen vampire elder guy and well, getting to fight that fight, which we might have been able to if we picked the other option. For pure content, it was good content. Absolutely. But do I agree with it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. So uh Well we'll see what happens here. There is still uh, apparently some more stuff that's about to happen. Um I am thinking, considering to go back to the other save file and replaying this part, but handing Siana to Deadlaf just to see what happens. I put a lot of effort into this, so I think we should do that. But I will continue with this save file because that is what I originally cho chose. So. Regis, Bootblack didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters, what's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Time is up. Um, 
I'm curious. Let's go. Let's go right now. Why not check up on that? We'll go together. Assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. It's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough. I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They pick them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Oh. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a break here and we'll continue. So yeah, I'll <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day and uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. Walking around in this clown outfit.